Hey, Pete Stege here from B2B Clarity. The marketing law of attraction states that it's easiest to sell to a prospect that wants what you're selling. Obvious, right? However, there are a lot of businesses that right this minute are spending a lot of time and money trying to convince uh, prospects that aren't their true prospects to buy from them. I want to give you three uh, pointers for things you can do in your business to make sure that you are not breaking the law of attraction. It will help you grow and improve your profits. First, it starts with what you're selling. You want to make sure that you are you are providing uh, an, an answer to an existing need, right? You're uncovering a solution versus artificially creating something that you then need to try to persuade somebody that they have a problem that they don't have. So if, you, if you're if you focused on a true need, everything's going to be easier as you move on down the line. Now you've got that solution to that true need. The next really important thing is to look for prospects that have that need and don't be tempted to try to broaden your market by talking people into having that need or trying to um, educate them on how they might have that need. All those things are harder than just going to the source and going to the people that you don't need to uh, explain anything. They get it right away. And finally, when you do find those correct people, uh, the ones with the problem, because they have that energy, you don't have to waste time trying to create a, an intricate story or, or persuade them, um, convince them, manipulate them. You're really just educating them. You're sharing the good news about the solution you have to the problem that they are well aware of. If you keep these three aspects in mind, you will find that you are focused less on manufacturing demand and more on getting out of the way and letting that natural attraction to your business flow from the prospects that will love you when you solve their problem. I hope this was helpful for you and I'd love to talk more about it. Why don't you reach out to me on LinkedIn or at my website.